Hey, welcome to the Wyndham Resort here on International Drive. Wyndham did hook us up today. They provided this beautiful hotel suite. Let me show you around. I mean, this hotel room is awesome. This is definitely one of the nicest hotels I have stayed in here in the Orlando theme park area. Right when you walk in, you are greeted with this massive hotel suite for your vacation. To the right of the front door, you do have a mini kitchen and a little pop-up bar. You do have this big refrigerator. Oh, they left us some fruit and some water. That was really nice of them. And then you also have a Keurig to yourself with coffee, cups, a sink, trash can. And then over here, if you bring your own alcohol, this will be the place for it. Storage for any food items that you may have. Next up, you have two bar stools and then an office desk. This is where I'll be doing my editing. And before I show you all this, you do have a joint room. If you choose to extend another room on top of this, right now, due to all the social distancing, nobody is in this room. Then over here, you have a second entryway. And then to the right, you have a second bathroom. Very standard, you have your sink and you have your toilet. And then on the way out, you have your second closet with an iron, iron board. This is where we have all of our luggage right now. Coming from your second entryway, you are greeted with this big living room. Plenty of space for your family. Looks like we have a 65 inch curved TV. You have a sound bar. What I really like about this hotel suite, it does not feel like a hotel room. It really feels like a vacation home. You also have this nice dining room table. Oh wow, Wyndham left us a little note. Looks like a bottle of wine, some fruit, and a meat and cheese board. Let's read this letter that Wyndham left me. How nice. Ooh. Oh, cool. Welcome, Devin, to the Wyndham Orlando Resort International Drive. I hope that you have a great weekend, and if you need anything during your visit, please let me know. How fun. And look at this. They left us two tickets to go on the wheel at Icon Park. Wow, thank you, Wyndham. That is awesome. So happy to be here. All right, let's head inside the master bedroom. You have this king-sized bed. I love it. You have your closet. You have another iron, iron board, additional pillows, hangers, and also a safe. Looks like you have a nice 40 inch TV here inside the master. Heading to the master bathroom. I love how modern and sleek the bathroom looks. You have a his and her sink, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, blow dryer, Look at this. It does not feel like I'm staying at a hotel. You have your toilet. Look at this huge tub. I'm a big guy now. I'm six foot five. I can't fit in most bathtubs, but I think this one, wow. I have plenty of room. And also, look at this walk-in shower. It's big, I can fit. I mean, holy cow. I wish it had a rain shower, but I think this will do. This is pretty nice. Like I said earlier, it doesn't feel like a typical normal hotel room. It's definitely more of a family hotel suite or a vacation home. Just say with a family of four, I mean, this is plenty of room unlike a normal hotel room where you just have two beds together and a bathroom and that's it. I mean, you have a dining area, you have a living area, a second bathroom. I think this is definitely a good option for you and your family come down here to Orlando 
and spend your vacation. I wanted to bring you out to the patio. Look how long the patio is. You have a table and chairs for your coffee in the morning. And then that is the master bedroom right here. And then over here is the living room. And you still have a ton of room, but there are two pools. The main lobby is right here. They have a Starbucks over there and a bar. This is the main pool right here, a little bit bigger. Then over here is the quiet pool for adults. And you can also find the fitness center right over here as well. And just to show you guys what the hotel rooms look like from the outside, here you go. I know there's a global situation going on right now and Orlando is just now reopening. I know I felt, would I be safe coming back to hotel rooms? What are some of the procedures? Now, I do know nobody has stayed inside this room in about three months. Wyndham deep cleans everything after each stay. So they sanitize everything and they will actually let the room sit for 24 hours until the next guest will stay here. So you should feel safe. Everything seems very clean. It smells good in here, it looks good. So don't let that bother you. The other question that I usually get asked by you guys, what are some good hotel options if I can't afford to stay at Disney or I can't afford to stay at Universal? Something like this is actually really good. We looked it up. I'm not sure how much a hotel suite is here, but a standard hotel room, you're looking at about $75 and we're literally right behind Icon Park the Wheel, the Star Flyer, Universal is down the street. Disney is about 15 minutes away. Wyndham is actually gonna help you guys out. If you're looking to stay here, Wyndham is giving you a 20% off discount. And you can find that link down in the description. Next up, I wanna show you where you will come to check in. It's a little bit of a maze to get in though, but they do have signs to lead you in the right direction. They do have a huge conference center right here but let's go inside the main lobby. As we see, they do have ground markers for the social distance to stay six feet apart. And here is the main lobby where you will come to check in. Really nice in here, very quiet. Right when you walk in, you will find a ticket booth and they sell Madame Tucson, Sea Life, The Wheel, and also SeaWorld Orlando tickets. They also offer a Enterprise, so if you need to rent a car, we can also see they have computers and a printer, hand sanitizer around the building here. Lots of places to chill. And then you can get to the ballrooms, the conference center, right back this way. They do have a full bar. And in the morning, this will turn into a Starbucks. Pretty neat. More chairs out here to relax. And this is where you will come and check in. They do have plexiglass to protect yourself and the staff. More social distancing markers. And check this out, they offer a information kiosk. And what I really like about this machine, you can actually check in to your flight and print your boarding passes right here. You can also find all the resort information, local dining and shopping, local attractions. Look at this, flight check-in and boarding passes. That's awesome. Also tell you the weather. And during this pandemic, this resort offers curbside check-in. Overall, this resort, is looking very nice. I really like being close to everything, especially the local attractions. As we are heading out of our hotel room, look how close the Orlando Eye or the Wheel is to this hotel room. Just finished dinner here at Chewy's, which is right next door to the Wyndham Resort. We are about to head to Icon Park, but I just wanted to show you our resort right here. We just made it down here to Icon Park and I'm really noticing it is busy. I mean, there are a lot of tourists and I say that just because it's been pretty dead the last few weeks, but now with Universal reopening, SeaWorld and then Disney, I think it's really bringing back the guests and the tourists. Yeah, very big difference from when I was here a few weeks ago. There's a lot of people here. A really big thank you to Wyndham Resort for providing the tickets to ride the wheel here at Icon Park. They are offering hand sanitizer before getting on. Looks like we're gonna be having our own capsule all to ourselves. Looks like the staff is sanitizing each capsule after use. And you can also find ground markers keeping that social distance. And here we are, thank you. Ooh, Please AC. Clear of the closing doors. 
we have this cool little iPad to show us exactly what we are looking at. Whoa, look at Universal Studios Orlando. We can see Volcano Bay right there. And look at that, it's our resort for the evening. We can see downtown Orlando. Here's a look at the convention center and we can also see SeaWorld Orlando right there in the distance. We are about to be at the very top of the wheel. You're owning the sky like a true Orlando dreamer from 400 feet in the air. The There's Top Golf Orlando, and right here we are looking at Universal's newest theme park, Epic Universe. Well, at least the construction zone. You guys see it? There's Epcot, Swan and Dolphin, the Walt Disney World Resort, it's just right over here. Feel uninvited, left home in West LA, I'm not excited. And as always, you must exit through the gift shop. I find this very interesting. Madame Tucson's and Sea Life are not open, but I know they've been open all this week. And I ran into the same problem a few weeks ago when I was here. I'm not really sure if you guys can hear, but right over here, we're so close to the pool. I've been hearing music since 7.30 a.m. And right now Taylor Swift is playing and I guess the only other issue I do have and I don't have many here but I don't understand why there is not a fitted sheet like it's just a sheet and a cover I mean the bed was very comfortable but I don't understand why there's not a fitted sheet all right we are about to check out here at the Wyndham Orlando Resort here on International Drive this was a really fun hotel stay you know like I've been saying this entire time this isn't your typical hotel room. You definitely have a lot of space and I really love the location that this resort has. I mean, it's close to everything. You have International Drive right next door. You have Universal about five minutes away and then Disney about 15 minutes away. And then same with the Orlando International Airport about 15 minutes away. All kinds of restaurants and things to do. It's a prime location for a really great price. I think this is a really good hotel option if you don't want to pay that premium price like you would pay at a Disney hotel or a Universal hotel. This hotel is amazing and you get a really good discounted rate and don't forget if you want to stay here use that link down in the description to save you 20% off your next stay here. Again, thank you so much Wyndham Resort. I really appreciate everything you have done for me and Bianca. We loved it. We will definitely be back. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here because we do this quite often. Make sure you're following me along on Instagram and check out all my links down below. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I ain't feeling lonely In a morning, man, it's time to end the ride Fading it too slowly Over those gonna lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside